Hi ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear back again here in the dentals. And today it's day two of Prime Day, the final day, the last of the savings. Let's see what they got. Let's jump into it. So over there on the old Amazons, we talked about this yesterday in the live stream, and that is these types of pre-made uh, tool and battery racks. I want to know what your take on it was. Let me know down in the, in the comments. Would you rather build your own? Uh, or, or buy stuff like this because of the theory of, you know, instead of working on your shop, you can be working in your shop. $20.99 gets you that one. Now, there's a couple different styles. There's also this one, which is kind of the all-in-one rack kind of style there. Same price, essentially, on that. Same amount of tools. Uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit more storage space because you're getting two shelves out of that one rather than just the one shelf. So that might be a benefit. I do also think that with the weight of the tools, this style may be better because it puts that, uh, there's a, the lever issue with that longer arm there rather than just the single single bolt. You don't have as long an arm or lever there for supporting it. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think down below. Of course, links as always are going to be down below in the video description. Now, one of the things I want to talk about that we talked about yesterday again is the wise cam. Now, of course, a lot of people ask me all the time, what's my recommendation for security cameras? This is what the bear family here uses. We got them set up. Uh, I got one in my basement. We use one at the shop. We use them for all out indoors, outdoors, all sorts of stuff. That said, I want to point this out. This is no longer listed as a prime day deal, but it's the same price typical price on this has risen oh yeah you know, we checked price tracking it's gotten up to just over 40 dollars. so a lot of the stuff that you've seen that was on prime or is listed as a prime day deal is still on sale even if it doesn't have the little blue you know prime day seal on it over here so anyway 35.98 i do highly recommend you get an sd card to use with it that's the nice thing about the wise you can, re you can record locally as well. You don't have to sign up for their subscription package. All right, now let's talk about welders. A lot of people ask me about welders. I'm a huge fan of Yes Welder. Now, full disclosure, they have sent me stuff in the past, but that was after we'd been talking about them for a while, and uh, they've got some fine machines here on sale. This is a great uh, stick welder here. Look at this. 125 arc welder, a runoff of 110 or 220, so it's a dual voltage machine. <laughs> Look at that. I'm, I'm giggling because it's $79.99. That's ridiculously cheap. I don't quite want to call it a name brand, but I'd say well-known brand at $80. That is a steal on that one. Now let's move over to the next one. We've got their, this, look at this, Yes Welder MIG 250. This is their, it'll do MIG, it'll do lift TIG, it'll do stick. It will do aluminum with a spool gun because it is spool gun compatible. $400 on that, down from their list price of $500. That's $100 off. Oh my gosh. Now, how about this? How about a plasma cutter? Again, a dual voltage 110, 220 plasma cutter here. This thing is, it'll, you know, light duty, medium duty. It's not going to do super heavy duty, okay? And you're getting an extra 20 bucks off when you clip the little coupon. So it is a sub $300 plasma cutter. If you do any kind of metal stuff around the shop or, you know, out on the farm or whatnot, or you just want to have some fun, you need to grab one of these. All right, now next up, we got helmets because you need a good welding helmet. Yes, Welder has some very decent, I wouldn't call them top of the line, but as but here's the thing that we've all figured out, and that is that the, the plates on these, they're all about the same. They're all made by, uh, you know, a handful of companies, and the response time on them is wicked fast. Even the, even the budget ones are good. But what I really like here is the controls on the outside of the helmet. I've got the uh, great helmet from Harbor Freight that I use, uh, but the controls are all on the inside. You got to get in there with little, get your little claws in there and change it. Nice big knobs on the outside of the helmet. I love that setup. And of course, you got the solar for the recharging. That is awesome. Something else I want to talk about. We've intersp interspersed a couple of little bonus items here along with the tools and stuff. But the USB wall charger, we bought these and we use them in our RV. Because then you don't have power strips, you know, snaking all over the place. It's been great in the Cubs room. And we, in fact, they were so good, we decided to use some at home as well. You get your USB uh, chargers in there, plus a USB-C. Uh, you're getting five standard chargers on top of it. This is a great little setup here. Uh, for, I mean, $11.98. You know, don't overpower the thing. Don't go crazy, of course. But it, it is a protected circuit. Look at that. It is a protected circuit. Not super. So you're not, you're not you know, it's not going to protect you from, like this. They kind of show the lightning. It's not going to protect you from lightning. That little circuit, it, it, it's not going to stop it. But 
it will protect you from you know most surges and such let's talk power tools real benchtop power tools buck tool now they just recently did send me a tool in fact they sent me this one right here i haven't even taken it out of the box but you know uh, brad over at brad's workbench he has one of these things and he, uh i think he's i think he's got this one or one of the other ones he convinced me he's like he's like bear you gotta check these out it's the real deal tool there 179 is uh, 45 dollars in prime savings on this are there cheaper bench top grinders out there yes there are harbor freight's got some good ones wind's got some good ones but the buck tool is a as, from what i've seen from the build quality is a step above and uh, setups like this, these are fantastic. Look at this, six inch bench grinder, knife sharpener with large work table. If you wanna start playing around and making some knives, sharpening knives, that kind of thing, this is where you wanna to get to. It's $215 down from 269, that's $54 in savings. Moving on, all right, X-Tool. We did a video on this, it was a sponsored video a while back. And I gotta tell you, the feedback I got from this was astounding. I got tons and tons of emails and IMs and stuff like that saying, Bear, you know, I'm a, a full-time mechanic. I decided to grab this for one of my cars. And he's like, it, it, I had one guy tell me it's doing stuff and finding stuff faster than my thousand dollar tool. Still finding the same stuff, but it's doing it faster and easier. And uh, lots of people love it. I just keep it plugged into my truck. So I always know what's going on. You know, I got the big 6.7 diesel there, the Cummins. And it's always nice to know how that sucker is performing. And uh, for $20, this is a no-brainer. This thing is, I, I've been down on a lot of the USB-style uh, 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 OBD2 readers. This one, <laughs> I like this one. All right, Tech-K-K-K-Po. We've talked about tech k k k po I think I, I got to add a, a, another C every time I say it. I don't know why. But um, they are decent level tools i mean they're not they're not the super high end but check this out if you're just a home gamer you're doing some diy shade tree mechanic kind of stuff here is a an impact wrench with a battery in a bag it, look you get three useless sockets with it in that fantastic but for 41 dollars 41 dollars the battery alone is worth that much this is a giveaway this is a great little throw it in your truck as an emergency tool you know yeah, give it to you, you know your brother-in-law who's always bothering, 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 bower, bower, bear can't talk to you, borrowing your tools. You got a young cub, in, cub coming up, and he wants some tools. They tell him to buy his own, get him one of these. It's a great tool to have as just you know base entry level DIY level tool. Of course, Techpo always has the good rotary tools. They're not top line again, just good standard DIY level weekend warrior kind of stuff. Wait, I mean it's twenty five dollars for this set. This same set right now on Prime from Dremel is $150. I kid you not. Look it up yourself if you don't believe me. All right, moving along. We got some Bosch grinders. We got your basic four and a half inch angle grinder. Just the basic, normally a $70 grinder. Bosch makes a solid workhorse of a grinder. $39 on it. And then we've got the slightly sleeker, nicer version there. It's up at $49 on that one. Uh, let's see what else we got. Now, Jealous, Jealous, I don't know, it's a silly name for a sander, but they make some decent sanders. Now, of course, I don't think they have, there's a Jealous factory over in China making it. I think they're OEMing it from some people, but they're getting good quality stuff uh, and they're selling it at a reasonable prices. So this is a five inch orbital sander with 18 pieces of questionable sandpaper for but a six speed variable speed sander there. For $35. That is now when I first looked at it, I'm like, oh, there's cheaper ones out there. And then I went and looked, and you might be able to find some cheaper ones, but cheaper variable speed. Uh, and you can order it from Amazon. So if you have a problem with it, you know Amazon's gonna take it back. But the fact of the matter is, I've heard from a lot of people, and they they are really happy with these sanders. It's a fair price for a fair sander. And check this one out. I really like this style, the D-handle random orbit sander. 5-inch, 18 bit, And I'll be honest, Jealous said they were going to send this to me. They never did. I, I don't know what's going on with that. But that's I'm not going to hold it against them because it's a good product at a good price. $39 on a D-handle sander with, you know, with sanding paper. All right, how about this? Asus Chromebook. If you don't know what a Chromebook is, a Chromebook is a laptop that really doesn't operate unless it's connected to the internet. Now, back in the day when these first came out, a lot of people were like, this will never take on. Now, every day... Today, everyone's, you're connected to the internet almost all the time, right? Come on, there's always Wi-Fi somewhere. Just a few clicks on your on your phone there and you got the hotspot going and you're back online. 
These are great for traveling. They're great to give to the kids. They can't get any viruses on them because the the OS basically, you know, is is completely streamlined and the rest of it lives in the cloud. It's all basically running web-based apps kind of stuff. They are great little things for surfing the internet, doing word processing, doing spreadsheets, great for doing homework, that kind of stuff on $130. That's a great deal on that one. All right, moving along. We talked about yesterday about the e-ratchets, the cordless ratchets, and these are my recommendations. Uh, you know, pr prove me wrong if you want. Put it down in the comments. But if you're looking for a good, cheap uh, cordless ratchet, I think this AC Delco combo kit. This is getting you the quarter inch and the three eighths for the price of a, mil of a single Milwaukee ratchet. Um, you can argue about speed and all that, but if you're racing e-ratchets, you. You, you need to find some balance in your life. Whether that bolt comes off, I mean, because this is not, you know, maybe not for the professional, maybe for the entry-level professional. I mean, but, you know, but for the average DIYer stuff, I, I don't care if it comes off in 1.2 or 1.7 seconds, it's still coming off. That's the point we're making here. And they're small, they're compact. You're getting both of those. You're getting two batteries. You're getting the charger in the bag there for 120. You're saving 30, almost $32 on that. Now, if you want the long reach, they've got you covered there. Same battery as well. You're looking at $103, $104 there for the long reach. And you get a couple of worthless add-in sockets there. Uh, although I do, I, I guess that adapter socket might be uh, actually kind of useful there. But that, you know, that's a great little kit. You get all three of those and you are pretty much covered. Now, if you're really looking for that bargain basement brand, we found yesterday it was Monkey Eye, I think we found. Well, today we found AD, AD, AD Dad, AD Dad, hey Dad. Uh, anyway, <laughs> three ounce power ratchet, 40 foot pounds, yada, yada, yada. You're getting the cordless ratchet, two batteries. Uh, a couple of you're getting a ratchet, a hand ratchet with it as well. I guess you maybe you'll need that. I don't know. Forty-seven dollars. That is cheaper than like the Husky that we see on Black Friday. So if you need one right now and you're on a tight budget, or maybe you just want to experiment with the whole e ratchet kind of setup and see if it's for you, maybe this is the one you go with. All right, moving along. Boy, we talk about a workhorse of a tool. This is the UVP from Matabo HPT. Of course, that used to be the old uh, uh, Hitachi brand. Now, this is tool only, but that's this is a 36-volt cordless recip saw, and it is a beast of a saw. It has good vibration control. It will work all day long. It'll be You'll be hot and sweaty and dead tired. It'll still be looking for more tool only there for $159. Now, we also have the 36-volt cordless angle grinder. Again, tool only on this. You already have to be in that, that system there for $159. All right, now back to Techpo. We got their little 4-volt uh, screwdriver. We've seen this from a whole bunch of different companies. What I like from this one is like Harbor Freight's got one that's pretty much just like that, except the Harbor Freight one, I don't believe, has a chuck on it. This has the chuck. It's got a nice case. It comes with all your little bits. It looks like it's going to hold them pretty well. This is a nice little thing you can, this is the perfect kitchen screwdriver. You, you put it in this in the thing, maybe in the, the cabinet under your junk drawer, right there, ready, ready to go. And it's got a flashlight on the back end. That's what makes it perfect for just around the house kind of stuff. Or maybe even throw it in the glove compartment of your car. All right, this stand, if you use a laptop, get it off the desk. These new slimline laptops are terrible at heat, uh, heat management. And this thing, what it does, I use this exact same one, right? Right now, I've, I've got my laptop up, up on it, and it is uh, it, it supports my laptop, gets it up to a non-neck-breaking height, so I can do these videos and not, at the end of the day, be like, wow, my neck feels like it's broken. And on top of that, it allows the air to flow underneath, and it gives me better use of my desk. I can store cables and route cables and stuff underneath it, makes the whole thing nice and tidy for $23.77. Trust the bear on this one. You need this. All right, let's talk hand tools. Casamon. Casamon. We've got the 3H, 3H, 3H inch drive impact sockets at 48 piece, standard in SAE. Look at this. We've got for uh, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 19, no skip. We skipped the 20, which is not a big deal. 21 and 22. Uh, this is a decent set. This is not a high end set, but what I found with impacts is, man, they, they're going to outlast you in most cases for the average DIYer. In a pro setting, I get it. I get it. This may not be the cho choice for pros, but for a good 3.8 impact set, 
for $47.97. That's a fine deal. And you're getting the SAE Deep and Shallow as well. You're getting a Universal. You're getting some extensions on that. Decent case there. That's a great choice. Moving on, we got the Duratec four-piece extra long needle nose plier set. So you're getting cutters, you're getting some, uh, and three sets of pliers with this extra long reach. Now, this is, again, not pro-level tools. Duratec is entry-level home gamer kind of stuff. And the reason I recommend Duratec for something like this is they're inexpensive. You're looking at $31. That's, that's less than $10 a tool. Plus, you get the case with it. And the fact of the matter is, these are not tools you're going to use all the time. So don't spend a ton of money on those tools if you're not a professional. That's These are your get out of jail kind of tools like, oh my gosh, I dropped that bolt. How am I going to reach it? Oh, I've got to make this cut. I've got to come around this corner. That's what the long reach stuff is for. That's why you need these for those those rare instances. So for $32, it's, it's going to get you out of a jam when you're doing a lot of different work, but you don't need them every single day. So don't spend, you know, the top tier money on these tools. And that's where Duratec comes into play. A great choice there for $32 or $31.19. All right, Liberton again. Now here's what I found in the world of chisels. People are like, what's a good middle of the road chisel? I have not found one. If you found a good middle of the road set of chisels, put it down in the comments because here's what I found. There's either cheap chisel sets or really expensive, good quality individual chisels. Yeah, I, I've not seen, except for thousands of dollars, finding a, a chisel set that's a high end or even a medium end. So when it goes to low end, just get something that works. Get something that's basic. You can sharpen them. You can stay on top of them. But again, this is not for your hardcore woodworker. This is for somebody who occasionally needs to, you know, cut a corner or shave something off. That's what this is for at eighteen nineteen. All right, another thing that we took with us when we go into the RV is the Instapot Duo Crisp. This is an eleven in one. Why is that great? Because we don't have to have as many stuff, as much stuff with us. We don't like to cook in the RV, first of all, because it heats the thing up. So you take this, you put it on the picnic bench outside, you plug it in the RV, not using any propane there. $89, so this thing will do act as an Instapot, it'll make rice, it'll slow cook, it'll act uh, as a, a steam cooker, and with that, uh, that funnel kind of top, it'll air fry as well. This is ridiculous, a six quart all-in-one there for, 90, for $90. That is fantastic. All right, moving along tools now i have not used these i ran across these and they remind me of a set out there that i've seen before that i like so maybe as an entry level set here for 32 dollars that's a lot of screwdrivers with your magnetizer as well you're getting the detail screwdrivers all the, you know, the stubbies all the way up looks like a good handle on that it's got the pass through so you can take another screwdriver get a little bit of more torque in it when you need it this looks like a good starter set there for 32 dollars all right, now if you just need some good higher end screwdrivers, Gear Wrench has got you covered. 20 piece Phillips slotted Torx, all this, everything from stubbies to longer reach. Uh, what are we looking at? $65. Now you're paying for the quality, you're paying for the name on that, but you know, Gear Wrench does stand behind their materials. All right, Pioneer 43 inch class LED 4K smart TV. You know, you're like, Bear, what am I going to do with a 43 inch TV? It's not big enough for me to put on my wall. Everyone's got, you know, I've got, what do we got? 65 inch in, in our house. Uh, some people go up to an 80. You know, we like the, we, these days with how cheap they are, we all like the big screen TVs. This is not, I'm not recommending this as a TV. Maybe for the Cubs room, maybe for the shop, maybe for the RV. I get it. But how about this? 4K lets you put this on your desk and use it as a monitor. It's what I'm staring at right now. I use a, a I think it's a 42 inch 4K. I also am, uh, am I, I, I'm at the house right now in the shop. I've got a 50 inch because you know what? When they go on sale, they're so cheap. They're cheaper than a good monitor at that price. And I can plug it in. Then I can also use it in the shop to watch other stuff on $200 for 4K. Uh, that's ridiculous anyway you might have to play around with the settings to get it just right but once you get it dialed in they work great as your basic monitor all right detail screwdrivers we talked about it before if that's all you need work pros got you covered nice little set here twelve dollars on that with the pouch that's a nice little set all right gear wrench we've talked about gear wrench we're getting towards the end i'm saving the best to the end i promise you i'm saving the best to the end We've got the hook sets we talked, the pick sets we talked about the before. There's a ton of stuff. I'm just going to show you here. They have, if you're looking to upgrade your tools, you've got some basic level stuff. This gear wrench uh, plier set, that's fantastic. Uh, they've got, what, we've got three pages worth of tools here. 
everything you could possibly want. Anyway, check that out. But if you want to save a little bit more, go maybe with a little bit less quality. The SATA tools are on sale as well, all on Prime Day sales. Check these out. Look at that. All the, now I have like I ordered this set here, and you know what? I was like, I'm like, hey, maybe they're exactly the same. They're not. They're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit chunkier. But they're still good quality there, and they're still high quality. This is SATA is the mid range tools. Gear wrench is the top of the line. This is the supposedly the Goldilocks zone. And uh, so they've got lots of great options you might want to consider looking at SATA if you're trying to step up your game, but you don't want to spend gear wrench kind of money. All right, moving along. Jorgensen, I got to mention these before. Somebody was asking yesterday. Jorgensen makes fantastic clamps, all sorts of different types, and they've got a ton of them on sale still. They're up until the end of the day today. So if you're looking for some clamps and you want to upgrade, this might be the time to do it. All right, we're getting close to the end. Of course, I got to talk about my DeWalt drill bit sets. Uh, you, look at this, $9.98 on this one, and this is the 14-piece, the black and gold, and then we've got the black oxide-coated HSS steel twisted drill bits there, or twist drill bits, <laughs> $15.99 on that with the case. Of course, you know the bear, I absolutely love those cases. They're nice, they're stackable, they lock together, clear front so you can see what you have in them. I'm a huge fan of these things. I probably have too many of them. All right, last but not least, We've got the best of the best, best deal. We talked about it yesterday. The Westinghouse iGen 2200 generator. This thing, $350. This is a whisper quiet, super quiet inverter generator. So it's inverter that makes it quiet. It's fully enclosed. That's going to make it as quiet as it gets. The, you don't I can find generators that are quieter than the inverter style enclosed. Now, Harbor Freight got kind of famous for making generators just like this. And they have one that's close to this. But that one right now is running you about $500. This is $350. This should be $500. Most days of the week, it's running in the high 400s. So right now, $349, that's a legit sale price on this. That's the one to go with. Of course, you got 12 hours left on this if you want to grab that sale. You know, that's Anyway, that's it for Prime Days. If you think the bear missed anything, let me know. Anyway, till next time, you all take care. God bless. And as always... Shine on.